Hi. What I've got here is the standard project that you get when you run Raza init. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to add a feature to this project. And in particular, I want my assistant to be able to tell me the time. Now I'm using the time here as an example of something that is not static. I will need to run Python code in order to give the correct response. And that's different than just giving a user a standard response back. To implement this feature, I will need to add a new intent to my nlu.yaml file. I will also need to use that intent in my stories. I will then need to define the custom action in my actions.py file. And I need to reflect all of these changes in my domain.yaml file. If I scroll down, you'll see the new intent that I have added. The name of the intent is give time, and I've added four simple examples of that intent. Given this intent, we can now use that as a building block inside of our stories. And here I have a very basic path. I'm using the give time intent, and as a response, this action should be triggered. Pay close attention to the name of this action over here, because we'll be using it later. Now, the code for this action is defined in our actions.py file. Note that the data files that I had before are in this data folder, but the actions file that I'll be editing is the one that's in the actions folder when you create a new project. I'm importing a couple of dependencies, and then I have my action below here. Now, you'll notice that I have a class called action hello world, which inherits from the action class over here. But as far as Raza is concerned in the config files, this is the name used for reference. So that means that this name needs to appear in my stories file as well as in my domain file. The custom action itself isn't really fancy. All the logic that needs to happen in a custom action is happening inside of this run method. And the only thing that I'm doing is I'm telling the dispatcher that is passed along here to utter a message to the user. And to be specific, I am just returning a string that contains the current date and time. To hook everything together, there are some final tweaks I gotta do to my domain.yaml file. And in particular, I need to make sure that my give time intent is added. And I need to make sure that my custom action is also added here. As far as configuration goes, I'm nearly done. The only thing I need to do is I need to make one small change to my endpoint.yaml file. In particular, you have to uncomment the lines here. Now, the reason why we need to configure this is Raza is a service of its own that is handling a bunch of tasks, but typically our custom actions are separate. Commonly, our custom actions are connected to a database which implies that there is a very valid separation of concerns between these two services. However, we do need Raza to be able to find this action server in order for it to send and receive requests, and that's what we configure here. Now that everything is configured, let's run both of these services to see the final result. I'll first run my action server, and while that's loading, I'll start up the Raza shell. Very good. So I can start the conversation by saying, hello. It says, hey, how are you? And if I now say, please give me the time, it is giving me a timestamp over here, which is coming from the service that I'm running here, which in turn is running the action defined 